This video is going to demonstrate the difference on the stiffness and strength properties between Techstream 160 gram. It has the binder. They, it stays together pretty well. I don't have any frame prop problems on it. And the 10.9. I got two pieces. I'm going to go in between a piece of quarter inch foam core on the Techstream and the 10.9 ounce. Uh, I got some 5.7 ounce, which I'm not going to mess with today. I just don't really like it too much. It unfrays and falls apart way too easy. But I got a roll of Techstream there and a roll of 10.9 ounce sitting here. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the, uh, if I come over here, behind the car. I'm going to use this Pro Glass 1200 UV epoxy resin which the part B is not a UV resin, which is the prime um, part to make it UV. And I'm just gonna run it all underneath vacuum and run it up on this glass, uh, just regular peel ply and breather cloth. And I'm just gonna do a wet layup on it uh, for the epoxy. And then I'm gonna try to see what, how much weight it's gonna cause it to bend a quarter inch from straight and maybe I might test it until it breaks but we'll see um, so I'm gonna get on with it and get a full layer laid up and let it cure because it's middle of night right now it's about 10 30 so I'm gonna get the sucker to cure and in the morning I'll I test it. I want to show it. the weight between the tech stream and the 10.9 and I'll weigh it with the foam too also So I'm doing these in grams. I know that the 10.9 is a little bit wider than the uh, Textram just because it frays so easily, especially when you try to resin coat it. So I'm not doing vacuum infusion. I'm just doing a wet layup and then vacuum bagging it. Um, it frays at the end and then I'm losing a little bit of strength. So at the end, I'll just sit there and cut the, the leftover on the side. But here, I'll do uh, the two layers of 10.9. See, it's already falling apart. Yeah, strands here, strands there. But anyways, so I'm at 17. Then plus with the foam, 26. And then with the, there's one layer of text stream. Another layer, let's get that heavy. Let's get that there. There's six. And then with the foam, 14. So, with two layers of carbon and the foam still lighter than the 10.9, just the, the 10.9, not with the, the foam itself. So, all right, I'm about to go do a, a layup right now. Right. So I went ahead and weighed the 10.9 and the tech stream. The 10.9 is sitting at 34 grams, which it used to be sitting at 26 grams. The tech stream is now sitting at 20 grams, which it used to be sitting at 14. Uh, with the foam out of the equation, which I can't tell on how much the foam saturated of the, uh, the much of the resin that added to the weight, but with the, uh, the carbon fiber weight and the total resin that was used in the weight, um, this came out to a 68% uh, carbon to resin ratio. Uh, carbon was at 68%, the resin was at 32%. Uh, this is at 50-50, even though that, you know, it, I actually put resin on the glass, put down my carbon, wet out the carbon, wet out the one side of the foam, laid the foam down, wet out the other side of the foam, and then laid my carbon down, and then wet it out that side, and then put my peel ply and breather cloth on there, and that's what the finished product is. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, both since both the foams are the same size, I'm going to take them, both stack them on top of each other, line it up as best I can, go ahead and cut both of them to the same exact shape, and then we'll go ahead and do a uh, weight st strength. What I'm going to do is probably get a piece of uh, block here and here, six inches apart, and start stacking weight on top until I get up to about 50 pounds, and both of them can hold up to 50 pounds. I think that's pretty good for only a, uh, you know, 20, 20 piece of uh, carbon and foam 
core. I mean, that, that sucker is thin, paper, paper thin, which the camera's not really picking it up too well. And of course, the uh, the 10.9 is a, a decent strength, but I mean, it's still pretty darn light for 34 grams. But all right, we'll see where it ha happens next. Okay, so I have both of them. They're pretty much cut to the same exact size. There's not much between the two and differences. I kind of kept the overlap on both of them just because it kind of might have give a little extra strength advantage. But uh, so I didn't cut anything off the tech stream. Right now, this is sitting at 31 instead of 34. And I have a total of two 10 pound weights there, and then four or five pound weights, a total of 40 pounds. I'm going to put this oak block pretty much dead center between the two, um, between this gap so that pretty much have an equal amount. I'll open that up a little bit, leave about one inch on each side. Uh, I can probably, I'll go back inside and grab my measure tape and I'll figure out what the, the exact size that is and I'll put that in the description. But uh, let's go ahead and start adding some weight. Uh, we'll start with the, uh, the 10.9 real quick first before we do the text stream. We're probably going to get some breakage, at least sometime tonight, on these. Actually, you know what? I'll put that on the camera. Let's see what the, the bend rate is on this. Between all these. So, there's one 10 pound. Here's another 10 pound. Here's a five pound. Here's another five. Another five. And another five. So there's 40 pounds sitting up there. On that two tens, ten point nines, it's pretty good. I don't know if you saw any flex. I can't really see it from where I'm at. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull off all these, and we'll put the tech stream in place. That's all the weight I have sitting here. I had some dumbbells, but my girlfriend kind of let those out to a friend of hers. So uh, I don't have any extra weight other than that. All right, so let's go ahead and do the tech stream now. Let me go. And prop you guys up on there. There you go. Pull all these off. Alright, so should be about dead center between the two. Start with our first 10 pounder on top. Next 10 pound. Looks good so far. Five pound. So now we're sitting at 25 pounds. Now another five pound. Looks good. Here's 35. Another five pounder on top. And here's another five pound. And there we go. A total of 40 pounds on there. Like I said, I don't know how much flex is on here since I can't really see and I'm up sticking my head all the way down that way so far. But uh, yep, um, we'll see if maybe I can get some more weight. Maybe we'll test it until it breaks. But thanks guys for watching. So if you guys liked anything that you guys saw, uh, please like or subscribe. Uh, it'll help with anything like financing, trying to get the, the race car up and running, which I have not much longer to go. Um, so if you guys like doing the testing of the carbon fiber parts and stuff, um, I'm going to make a, quite a few more videos of the whole project of the LFX engine swap. You got a little bit more, got the, the clutch flywheel, drivetrain, uh, fuel system, pretty much just small things to get together. But uh, she's in there, hood closes fine with it. I'm going to start working on some carbon fiber ducts for the vents. Uh, I got another hood sitting up here, 
I'm going to make a, a new carbon fiber hood, lightweight, super lightweight, with the actual headlight covers already built in. Um, but if people want ones with uh, the headlights, like how basically how the stock hood is, just with the no headlights, uh, I'm going to start building those so that the, I can get those trimmed out. But if you guys want it all the way from the front bumper, all the way up, uh, all in carbon, one solid piece, I'm going to make a mold for that. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and hopefully I can get this project uh, up and running soon. Thank you. Bye.